Hi everybody. Well, I'm alone today because I'm the only one who went and saw Barbie. I saw the Barbie movie in theater. And um, I have like feelings on the movie because it's very conflicting in my head. Because there were so many talking points about how this is a real feminist movie and then uh, you have all the naysayers and everything. It's a super woke movie and yes, they do have a hard message in this about the patriarchy and things like that. And they, they tried to weave it into this story. Now here's my complaint. This is a Barbie movie and a lot of people brought their children to see it. And those children could care less after the first 10 minutes of the movie. After that initial visual of the Barbie dream house and the Barbie world, Barbie land, that was spectacular, by the way. So perfectly made. That looked like a kid's imagination of Barbie's dreamland and the Barbie's house and it's her car and all that. Exactly the way it should. It was visually stunning. Right? But after that, they start trying to get into the story part and the kids were bored. The kids started talking all the way through. They started moving around in their seats. They just couldn't sit there for almost two hours for an adult Barbie movie. So I just want to warn you out there, if you're thinking of bringing younger children, 10 or under, and even I'd say 13 and under, it's probably a waste of time because most of the humor that they try and put in this movie will not land with children and they will be bored after the first few minutes. Now, as I said, the visuals are stunning. The actors are great. Ryan Gosling, Margot Robbie, Sumu Lee, great acting. Will Ferrell is in this, although I don't know how his, the direction that he, they were doing like he's the leader of Mattel and at one point it looks like he's gonna be a jerk and then he's not the jerk he's really actually you know <laughs> trying to fight for women and everything it's just it's really strangely done and some of the humor in it just didn't land like they're, they're like they try and send a message in a lot like Barbie and Ken arrive in the real world and they're wearing these bright rainbow colored outfits with yellow uh, skates and they're on Venice Beach and you know everyone's staring at them and Ken is Ken because Barbie if, if she doesn't pay attention to him in Barbie world then Ken doesn't do anything he just kind of stands in the corner and he doesn't do that unless Barbie wants to notice him well people are noticing him there and so he's liking it. He says, oh, I really like this. And she, she goes, she goes, well, people are looking at me. I feel kind of threatened. She's female. She's pretty. She's, she's threatened because people are looking at her on Venice Beach in a skating outfit, in shorts and a halter top. And you look like Margot Robbie. Uh, things like that. It just, it's just too heavy hand, heavy handed. And of course, every guy she meets, the construction guys are hooting and hollering and hey baby, a whole bunch of one liners come from each and every one of them. There's like five of them there and they all have to say something, you know, misogynist. And, and then, you know, the guy who comes up and slaps her bum and all, it's, every guy's a jerk that they meet in the real world. Just like now, right? Just like now. I mean, I, I don't know the last time I walked down the street and didn't slap a woman's bottom. I, I don't know. I mean, it must be at least an hour now. Oh, I feel I feel like I'm missing, missing out, I guess. Or I didn't hoot and holler uh, when I was working today at women walking by my office. I like, I, I I, you know, I, I guess I should open the window and do that more often because apparently that's all we do as men 
in, according to some of these movies. Like, it's, it's one thing to put something into the movie. It's another to make it over-exaggerated too much. And that's the problem with this movie that I found. The biggest problem is it's so well acted and it's visually stunning. The problem is I didn't find it funny. I didn't laugh and I was in a, about a half full theater and there were two people in the front, like three seats up from me, three rows up into the middle and they were laughing all the way through at everything. But they were the only ones. Every once in a while you'd hear a little <laughs> and then that was it. That's my problem. It really wasn't funny and I wanted it to be funny. I was hoping to see a comedy. These are great comedic actors that are in this role and they should have been amazing. Their acting was good. The lines just came just too stilted and when you make Ken, just the butt of every joke. I don't know. It just, it didn't work like it could have. Just the idea of Barbie and Ken showing up in the real world should be hilarious. You don't have to throw in messages. It could have just been hilarious. Touching water for the first time because Barbie's ocean is solid, right? It's a play set. It's a solid piece. So in Barbie world, it's solid. You can't really go swimming in the ocean. Things like that could be really, really funny. Instead, they get rid of all that for, hey baby, what's happening? Humor. And bottom slapping humor. Because... I guess that's the humor we think we want to watch. And I'm just so tired of it in movies. How about just writing movies and writing something funny and not trying to preach to everybody how the world is bad? Because really the world isn't as bad as you think it is. Maybe in Hollywood it is because you guys certainly think it is. But the rest of us? are just living our lives and we're kind of getting bored of your movies. Again, Barbie, visually stunning. You may find it funny. I just found it eh, all the way through. And I was so hoping to enjoy this money movie because I, I enjoy everybody who is acting in it. And I really wanted to like this movie. Trouble is I did not laugh. I laughed at one scene in the movie where it was a voiceover for something happening with Margot Robbie when she was saying how ugly she is. That's the only time in the movie I laughed. And that's not a good sign for a comedy. Would I give it a score? I'm gonna give it myself a six. I was not blown away by this movie. Visually, if you were just going by visuals, it was like a 10. But once you throw in the story, you lost me. And unfortunately, story is 90% of a movie to me. Mm -hmm.